Great. You can see my, my browser now, everyone. You can see my browser. Great. So uh, before we start, let's have a warm up activity. Okay, I want everyone um, to write one or two words that describe yourself in the classroom. So if you are a teacher or even if you're not a teacher and you're trying to uh, take some course to be a teacher. So I want everyone to write one or two words that describe you as a teacher in classroom. So just write one or two words about you, describe you as a teacher in classroom. So everyone will go, going to see your answer in the chat box. Why, you know, it's great, inspiring, friendly, facilitator, very good, friendly, great. Funny and friendly, okay. Punctual, active and energetic. Very good. Kindly. Kind, you mean? Kind. Great. Yeah, kind and understanding. Engaging. Guide. Yeah, great. Yeah, you work. Uh, yeah, you should be a guide. Yeah. Helper and motivator. Yeah, exactly. The student need this, th this in the classroom. Okay. Tough. Who is tough and angry all the time? This is not going to work with the student nowadays. Student nowadays are totally different. So since we are uh, in an online era and whoever is going to join uh, the online era and have a lot of courses and uh, information about online tools, this uh, teacher or that teacher will be really recognized later after coronavirus ends. So everyone will be recognized will recognize, recognize you because you are really did a great different in the online teaching. So it's your time to know more about online teaching. So let's start. Uh, I'm going to show you some websites. We have here uh, five websites that you help you engage your students. For example, if you're going, you're using Zoom uh, for online teaching or uh, for live online teaching, or you're not using live online teaching two ways you can engage your student in two ways. The first website is quizzes, okay, quizzes. Quiz, Q-U-I-Z and I double Z, quizzes.com, okay. This website is really engaging and interactive and uh, it's very helpful and easy to use, very user friendly, okay. So, um, the first thing you when you go to quizzes.com, you have to create an account. I recommend you sign in with your Google account. Okay, so everyone is uh, all the accounts you have is under one name, your Google account. And then here is the main page. Okay, so you have two ways to find quizzes. Let's have an example that we are going to talk about action verbs. Okay. So why, whether you are in live session or not live session, synchronized or asynchronized learning, okay? So both ways can work. Both ways can, you can use quizzes, okay? So here we're going to search for action verbs, okay? Okay, action verbs. This is the quizzes that are ready on the website. This is made by users, other users, okay? This is all the quizzes are ready uh, made for you. So you, you can just quickly go and get a quiz and you are ready to go. Let's choose the first one. When you just go over with the mouse over the, the title, you, in the other side, you're going to see all the quizzes here. Look, uh, all the questions. Here, you can see all the question over here, okay? So this is about uh, the quiz that you're going to have. And you can also edit this. Um, maybe you don't like the first one, you're going to the second one here. And the good thing about that you can see here, is it made for grade two or seventh grade or from grade one to grade six 
or for grade one only. So you, you will have an idea about the quizzes about which, for which grade, okay? And here is how many this uh, quiz is played. So I think the more, uh, the more uh, number you have, so the quiz is really famous and it's nice and people are over, the, over here, okay? So let's choose the first one. You want to assign the, this quiz for your friend. So just press on it, okay? Can everyone see this? What you can see here? Can, you, can someone write in the chat box what these two buttons about? This one and that one, what you can see. So I make sure that everyone's following. This one and that one. Play live, yeah, and the other one is play live and assign homework. Very good, play live and assign homework. So play live, you're going to choose this for online sessions. You're going to choose this for online sessions, okay? So let's now press on it, press continue, okay? And then this is the code the student's going to get. For example, let's act, I am a teacher and you are the students. I'm going to give you this. So if anyone go to this website, joinmyquiz.com and enter the code, will join the game. Or if you just send them the link over Zoom or over any application you're using, so everyone will join the game. Okay, let's make practice. So I'm going to send you guys this link here. Okay, so everyone will join and see how it works. Look, can you see it? Can you see guys? In the teacher view, you can see someone joined. You, Jan, you, Jan. So you, Jan is one of our members here now. He already joined. Okay, so whoever just click on this link, he joined the game. Okay, great, excellent, well done. And be careful, your teacher view is like this, the one in my power, in my share screen is not the one you have, okay? So when everyone joined and you have the numbers of the student here, and when you make sure that if some of the student joined or all of them joined, you have to press, you have to press. Hmm. You can say it's easy. <laughs> we should press. Start, excellent. By the way, I keep asking this question, so make sure everyone's following. Okay, we're going to press start. And here is the game start. The game is starting right now. I already muted the game here. The game is muted, like I just see here, I muted. And the teacher view, I'm seeing all the names and how everyone is answering. Look, Jermin and Shaima, and everyone is interacting in the game. As the teacher view, I'm seeing everyone on the live session, okay? And let's, uh, let's say that you already had enough time for the game and everyone joined. I have to end the game, sorry. So you have time for everything. We just try to press on the link, okay? Yeah. So I ended the game now here in the game and when you end the game you're gonna see the top first uh the top three okay so germine excellent <laughs> so germine is the top one the first one and you go also to see uh, which question she answered correct and which question is not this is how you can you can assign the quiz for online session okay so what about if you want to assign it as homework or your your students are not on live with you, okay? You just simply go back, of course, and instead of pressing live session, a live uh, play live, you're going to press assign homework. Assign homework, and you have to choose the deadline. Everyone clap for Jermaine, she's the winner. She's the winner. Excellent, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done, excellent. So you uh, choose the deadline here, okay, and the time and press continue. 
okay? And then share the link and also the code. But in this time, your friends will play at any time they want. By the deadline, you're going to have a report sent by the website to you about the winner and about the first one and their scores, okay? Now, I'm going to ask a quick questions, quick question, and I'm going to ask someone to answer in the mic. If you want to answer in the mic, just tell yes or me, or just raise your hand. Okay. How we can assign live session on quizzes? How we can assign live, a game, sorry, live game on quizzes? How, what are the steps? Can you just briefly tell me? Who can, who is ready to talk in the mic and tell the answer? How you can assign live, game on quizzes how you can yeah great okay we're going to choose nancy hi nancy how are you you can Hello, hi. yeah i can hear you yeah i can hear you well yeah uh we would uh, first we will open the website create um, an account uh, and then we will uh, make a quick search on whatever uh, topic we want, like the action verbs, for example, as you said. And then we will choose if it's live, we will just um, press play live. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, great. And what, how the student will be joining your live game? Uh, I'll have to uh, give them the, the name and uh, the code. Or? Uh, or just copy the, the link. Very I'll good. Excellent. Big clap for Nancy. Thank you. Very good. You're going to have a certificate on our website, on our group. <laughs> you and Jermaine. Okay, great. Uh, so this is how you're going to use quizzes. So uh, what about, uh, of course, I'm going to send it to you. So what about if the quiz that you want to create or you want to have is not on the website? You can create your own quiz. You create your own quiz by pressing create a new quiz and you can choose the name let's choose uh, let's write here action and verbs for example and what subject maybe english and press next okay and you have a lot of option to create a new quiz you can get your own quiz okay here multiple choice checkbox fill in the blank poll open-ended and by the way the quizzes is not only for children. You can use it if you are a businessman or something, you're not a teacher, you can use it for, for uh, quizzes and uh, for, uh, for questions and assessment after your meeting. So it's very simple and nice, by the way. It's not only for children, of course. And you can create the question you want, any number, and it's very user-friendly. Whenever you uh, write, uh, choose something here, it's gonna take you in a very simple way to create a question. You answer if, you write the question here, write the answer. If you want uh, only two answer, you can delete the other. So it's very user friendly, by the way. Okay, and this is the, this way, gonna show you how it sh um, it's going uh, to view, display on the other side in your student's laptop or your student computer, okay? So this is the website quizzes. I, I recommend you go through it and play around in the group and the, in the website and to find more ideas. It's very user-friendly, very user-friendly. You can discover a lot of things by yourself. It's very easy. Okay, let's go to the other website. Okay, um, who knows this website? Anyone has an idea about this website? Yes, Shaima, you can write. Right. Yeah, so this website is similar to quizzes, okay? Kahoot, it names is Kahoot, okay? But half of a Kahoot membership is paid and the other one is free. So only some features are for free and other features are for, uh, you should pay for it, okay? Um, but I believe quizzes is very user-friendly more than Kahoot, but Kahoot is better. So I believe for first time, working uh, with online games and stuff, we use quizzes. Um, this is Kahoot. I want you to go around 
that this is the same idea. It has the same idea, but uh, there's little, slightly different in how it view the quiz and how this. Um, it needs a lot of time, so I prefer we can go to other simple website and leave Kahoot till the end, okay? Okay. Um, we can go to this website. This website called Pool Everywhere. Pool Everywhere, okay? Can you see it, everyone? Pool Everywhere, okay? This website is creating polls, quizzes, and uh, uh, open-ended games, uh, questions, sorry, and stuff like this. Actually, it's not uh, uh, like uh, kids friendly with a lot of images and uh, uh, music and stuff. It's mainly for adult learners and businessmen and uh, uh, working mainly with adult learners, but it can work with the children. Let's try how we can create a poll. We can go in now to cre press create, okay? And you're going to choose from this different stuff. Multiple choice, word cloud, question and answer, clickable image, survey, open-ended, competition. Okay, maybe you're going to see, uh, we're going to choose word cloud. And we're going to write the title, um, teach outside, outside the box, which is the name of our Facebook group and uh, um, WhatsApp group and press create. Okay. When you press create, it takes you to this one. This is the, this big rectangle or this big square. This is how it shows to your student. Also, you can share the link uh, while, uh, whether you are working online or whether you are not working with a student online. Okay. So how you're going to share the link. First, you have to activate this and you have to go to this side and write present and share, present and share. And here the link to be copy and pasted to your students, whether you're going to send it to them or you're going to uh, send it in the chat box if you have live session, okay? So everyone, I want you to go to this link I send it to you and write one thing you think about our session today. Just write one word, only one word about our session today. And me, as a teacher, and you, if you're going to do this for the teacher, you, I, I recommend you do it as full screen so it's bigger for everyone to see others' responses. And don't forget to, to press activate so everyone will going to participate and it's ready to be there, okay? So everyone, I sent the link in the chat box. This is the link of the poll I'm doing now. I want you to write one word about our session now and we're going to view it here. Amazing, someone wrote amazing. Useful, someone wrote useful. It's only one word. So, uh, show, because it's a word cloud. Yeah. Okay. Fruitful. Okay, so look, I want everyone to see my screen because this is the way you can see all the answers together. And if someone want to join later after you send the link, they're going to see everything here. Look, the, the, whips, the link. So this is how you're going to create a word cloud. And there's much more, not only word cloud, okay? Yeah, great. Okay, and if you want to lock it, you can lock in the answer so no one will uh, write more uh, or show responses or not. Like this, you're going to clear the responses so you give time to everyone to join or show the responses like this. Activate clear responses if you want to, them to have another uh, question. We can keep only one poll for questions. Like I'm going to clear the responses now. Sorry, sorry. Now write your name. Now write your name. Again, you're going to the link and write your name. Shaima. 
or you can write your name in the link. I send it to you. Shireen, Sheena, Basant, Nancy. <clears throat> yeah, so this is this is how you work, Jermaine. Great ladies, my ladies. Okay, so let's now cancel the full, full screen and you can save it changes and um, make sure you can take a screenshot of this or you can save it for to send it later okay okay of yeah the same link nancy the same link so uh, now um i'm going to tell you another website because we are almost nine minutes okay this website called it puzzle i believe you write all the websites in a, in a note, I'm going to write it for you now. The first website we talked about was quizzes, okay? Quizzes, quiz and the word quiz and then I and then double Z. And then we talked about uh, pool everywhere and pool everywhere can work on mobile phone as well. You can download the application on your mobile phone. And also now it, Puzzle. It puzzle is very interactive for videos. So if you have a video and want everyone to interact with the video, uh, for example, if you're going to show your your students um, a story, and you want to stop the story, keep and ask a question and then go on. Stop the story, keep asking question and go on. Uh, you want them to have this video with the question together in one thing you can use a puzzle for this. Um, for example, uh, I have this video, I created this one. This is a story, okay? By the way, it's, you can also create an account, go through uh, the website, it's free, totally free. You can send it for public or you can uh, invite the student to the website, but I don't recommend that. You just have a public click for this. And it's ready to make everything in this tree, in this website, in this website is ready for you. You don't have to do it. It's ready for you, okay? So this is the video. You're going to play the video and look here, sorry. So the video is going to be play here. I'm going to play the video, I'm going to. Okay, the video is playing here and the one is reading, okay? And you can look at these little dots here. When the video goes, reach you this first dot, it's gonna stop immediately and some question will appear here, okay? This is the question about the story, okay? So, and the, the, when the student answers the story, for example, the, the, it's, correct, it's wrong, <laughs> okay? The, the YouTube will keep going. Okay, so this is a good idea. You can create this video. Yeah, of course, yeah, the question are ready. You can do both. You can create your own question or you can search of other users uh, ready-made YouTube uh, videos, okay? Yeah, now it's time for question and answers, okay? Uh, if you want to talk in mic and ask something, please go ahead but so uh, i make every i want to make everything really um organized so i'm going to put here a timer for everyone when you start speak so you know you have only one minute two minutes okay because i didn't want to interrupt someone or something if you want to speak or say like something i'm going to choose only three of you because we're only five minutes please if you want to say something let me know Yeah, the question are ready for you, or you can you can create your own question as you like. It's totally up to you. Okay. Shayma, you want to say something? Are you ready to be unmuted? Hi, Shayma. Hi, Salma. How are you? Yeah, fine, alhamdulillah. I will put yeah. for you one minute timer. Okay. Okay. So you can. Okay. Watch the time. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Really, I want to thank you first. 
Uh, second, I have a question. You said about uh, the last slide, uh, which it puzzles that you can create a question. How can I can how can I create them? Is it uh, easy? Yeah, it's very easy. It's very user friendly. Once you go to the uh, create an account and you ready it with your account, uh, okay. press create an account. Uh, sorry, create video, and you can pre uh, you can uh, choose which part you're going to add the question. It's very user friendly. It's gonna take you to a very simple step steps okay. yeah. it's very Thank easy you. but i believe everything is in the website for example if you're going to uh, uh, talk about action verbs or grammar reading anything it's ready uh, on the website just try before you create your own try to find the stuff if you didn't find one you can create yours and you can edit on the ones also on the website Okay, uh, what about Kahoot? You didn't mention it. Or yeah, it's only... Actually, I believe it needs another session because it's really complicated oh. a little bit. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Yeah, one minute. Very good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Great. So, anyone want to ask something? Anyone want to add anything? You can raise your hand. Okay. Okay, if you want to find us, you can find us on Teach Outside the Box. Um, I'm going to send you now the link. Okay, if I have time, just, I'm sorry, I'm have to cancel share screen. Okay. And I'm going to send you now the link. So, what do you think of the session? Just write, tell me in the chat box, what do you think of the session? It's very simple. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you, Nancy and Cheng. Thank you, Shireen. How are we? Nova, thank you. Yujan, Yujan, thank you. Shireen again, how are we, Nova? Yeah, it's recorded. I'm going to, uh, to have it over YouTube soon, yeah. Awesome, good, thank you. Thank you. Interesting too. Thank you so much. I'm going to send you the link for our my WhatsApp group so you can go through it and be updated with our online sessions. Okay, just one minute. Here, copy the link, go to Zoom, paste. Yeah. Here's the link for our online. Uh, session uh, for sorry for our uh, group this group only for sharing teaching stuff okay this is not for social talking it's only for teaching uh, sharing english stuff for teachers and the sessions and webinars and everything related to teaching not for only for english teacher any other teacher okay thank you so much i'm really happy that you came to my session and we'll be having another session after tomorrow Thank you. See you tomorrow. After tomorrow. Bye.